Ah, Doom. No, 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 not that one. Yeah, that's the one. Has been plagued with all sorts of bugs, issues, and crashes since its release. You can tell it's the offspring of Bethesda by how many issues some people are having with it, myself included. Anyhow, today we are going to show you how to fix several of the different launch crashes while at the same time showing you how well it runs on a very low-end system. The system we will be running it on is a G6950 2.8GHz Pentium, 8GB of really slow DDR3, and AMD HD5450 with 512MB of VRAM and a motherboard that works most of the time. I'd use my GT610 for this system, but it's probably all covered in sand and seagull poop by now, so nah. First off, let's take a look at what might be causing your game to crash on startup. There are several possible causes, and several more for a low-end PC like this one. The very first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your drivers are up to date. They are? Good. Now one of the things that you may not have been able to figure out. First thing you will want to do is disable the intro video by right-clicking on the game in Steam and going to its properties and then type this into the Launch Options text box. The intro video can cause some low-end cards, like the 5450, in here to crash, so we'll need to disable it for this game to run. Now with that done, let's move on to more advanced options. Next, we need to edit some config files to allow for better VRAM management, which is really important on a 512 meg card like this one. And we're going to set the render option to the correct option. The config files are almost always located under User, Saved Games, id software and so on you can follow me on the screen and once you get to the config file open it up and change the render option from 0 to 1 or from 1 to 0 depending on what it is already set at next we need to navigate to the other config file and put this in and this little bit of code helps with cards that have less than 2 gigabytes of vram run just a little bit better and our card has far less than that so we definitely need to put it in Alright, now with that out of the way, let's launch it and see how it performs. Very first thing we're going to want to do is make sure that we set the settings to the lowest settings because we have a pretty terrible card. And now that they're all set down to the lowest settings, as you can see here, I think it's time to run this thing and see what it looks like. Alright, well, it looks pretty awful, but it runs. It almost looks like an original Xbox title. <laughs> Anyhow, I would say that on average we're getting around 8 to 13 FPS. Hardly what I would call a playable or pleasurable gaming experience. So let's try to overclock this bad boy and see where it takes us. Hmm. Well, for the frame rates, we're pulling 20s to high teens when nothing much is going on, which is actually kind of playable. Incredibly cinematic, but playable nonetheless. However, you can tell it drops a bit during combat, even so it kind of works. I certainly wouldn't recommend using such a low-end GPU or CPU with this game, but the fact that it can run means that if you have anything more powerful, you should be able to run this game too, with those config edits we just went through. So. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, may your frame rates be high and your prices low, and I'll catch you folks next time. Who the fuck's here at this time of night? Oh, whatever.
What the fuck? <laughs>